Zimbabweans, 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 why are we so anti ourselves? Why do we pull ourselves down? Why do we soil our own image? Say, what is Dixie that pants in the way? And why is this whistle that pants in Gaga? Huh? One mischievous person decided to do this. Munwese Doko Akira. Preaching to the world how Zimbabwe had sent seven athletes and 67 officials to the Olympic Games. We've, we have become so self hating that we create anything nonsensical about our own country and we go on to believe it. Of course, people are disillusioned by the politics and the corruption and the leadership that they're not happy with, but why would you deliberately soil the image of your own country? Eh? So, I see that you can go to Munano Famba Chiti, Madame Bish, Madame Mangi Bush, I think I would fix some kinds. Yet it reflects on you, Kut Urimun Ruziano Garane Bishu. When you was, you would to cause us the tenses and a parrot. Umton Jan, very go on to us as young is. Go on to the as young is a pam room. Pam room shabba won't get pam woman to won't get very as young is. We see two tamas in the jar. Uri do for Uri Benz. Guys, we are Zimbabwean, and what are we saying about ourselves when we lie to the world that we are this law? We are not this law, are we? We are not. So why do we do that? For the record, Zimbabwe sent seven athletes to the Olympics and seven officials. Seven officials, not 67. I don't know where the six came from, but we sent seven officials. They are Benson Chauke and Henry Tabari, the athletics coach and manager. Franz Imfeld, the rowing coach. Masi Aditakayeza, the swimming coach and manager. Abigail Mniwa, the physiotherapist. Spiwe Kahia, who is responsible for administration and welfare. And of course, the head of delegation, Rigisai Mapondera. Those are the seven officials who are in Paris with Team Zimbabwe. Chauke and Tabari are responsible for athletes Isaac Mpofu, Rutendo Nyaora, and Makanaka Isecharamba. Infield will be coaching rower Stephen Cox and Takayeza coaches the swimming team of Denilson Ciprianos and Paige van der Westerzijn. Right? The vice president is attending the opening ceremony, yes, like any dignitaries from around the world. Now, the size of his contingent is what we should be questioning. They are not Team Zimbabwe officials. They are not his wife. He's supporting cabinet ministers, most probably from foreign affairs, from finance, from defense and tourism, uh, his security staff, the bodyguards, the CIO, central intelligence officers, the media personnel. They are not part of Team Zimbabwe. They are not. We saw Prince Charles and his son George at the Euros final. We saw them, didn't we? Were they part of the England squad? Were they? Most probably they will be there for the opening ceremony. Will they be part of Team GB? Huh? We concentrate on soiling our own image as we snap us and ignore the real issues. Now, people are planning to trust the constitution. They are planning to trust the constitution. Talking about a third term when the constitution makes it clear. Putting Munano Tonga two terms said that's it. No one, no one except Tendai Itia said a word about this. Eh? How many scandals have been exposed recently? How many scandals have been exposed recently? Zekin, the $40 million toilet. There's been irrefutable evidence, irrefutable evidence of Zek Chairperson Priscilla Chigumba's involvement in shady deals alongside Rignal Chivayo. And no one has been held to account. No one has been held to account and no one has said a word about it. The gold mafia. Eh? Such happens. And Passion Java, who's often pictured with the president, comes out and says, Sakam Chaita say. Of course he was right. He was right, wasn't he? Makaita say. What did we do about it? Eh? We kept quiet. Nothing. We just make noise. You just make noise on social media and that's it. So I caught red-handed smuggling gold out of the country. We know what happened to her, don't we? And we know how we reacted, don't we? 
would you ever imagine that happening elsewhere? Take for instance across the border in South Africa. Would you ever imagine it happening in the US? Could he, well, why not if the president should stay on after two terms like it's appeared because he started such, such, such and such a policy. So he's got to see it through. Hmm? That is what we should be concentrating on creating creator nonsense in advance our self-hate. That's why it's not surprising that Mazimba Guys, it is high time we look at ourselves in the mirror and instead of pulling ourselves down, we should pity ourselves. Yes, I've said it and I'm out.